What's up, you guys? It's Susan Morad, right back here on Clever News. And Ryan Reynolds shared some thoughts about appearing on the hit children's TV series Sesame Street, but lo and behold, those thoughts were anything but kid-friendly. At some point in our lives, we've all taken questionable jobs, where we look back and immediately form some sort of memory or nostalgia. But when reminiscing on his debut on the long-running children's TV series Sesame Street, it seems Ryan Reynolds might have forgotten to initiate the parental control tool. Let me explain. It started out as your typical lazy Sunday morning, watching TV while casually perusing the socials. That is, until Ryan Reynolds' face appears in the hole of a giant letter A, as if he had a few regrets about signing on to this gig back in 2010. Now, one user took to Twitter to document Ryan's cameo, pictures and all, writing, quote, watching a little Sesame Street with the kiddo, and it's an episode with Ryan Reynolds and the gang doing an A-team gag. It's a delight for both me and the kiddo. Clearly, Ryan had other thoughts on the matter as he got word of his episode's rerun, and in one of the most Ryan things Ryan has ever said, he tweeted this gem right back saying, I remember how challenging it was to sing because the a-hole was so tight, but I pushed through because kids all over the country were counting on me. Uh, and suddenly the fact that Ryan was stuck with his head in an a-hole on live television will forever live rent-free in my head. Seriously though, this photo truly does explain the sheer regret and even some pain from the a-hole <laughs> literally cutting off blood flow to his brain. Ah, you live and you learn though, right? Although the Sesame Street gig was years before the birth of Ryan and his wife Blake Lively's first daughter James, it apparently kick-started his wonderful journey into fatherhood, in which he's been known to share some comical glimpses with fans. While speaking with Stephen Colbert last April around the start of quarantine, Ryan reflected on being in lockdown with Blake and their three daughters, saying, quote, this morning I made dresses out of tissue paper, which was fun for them. Ryan then joked about spending ample amounts of time with his family, adding, We're learning a little bit about gardening. We're trying to make this an educational experience, but I'm mostly drinking. Okay, so there's a chance he actually wasn't joking there. But it's no question fans love him for always keeping it real about the joys and struggles of parenthood, as he later joked that both the best and worst parts of the pandemic have been, quote, the incredibly concentrated amount of time I've had with my kids in a time that I'll never get back. Ouch. But clearly by now, Ryan's audience is well aware that he's basically a walking tagline at all times, because let me tell you, the responses to his momentary mishap did not disappoint. Even celebrities like Zach Braff commented on Ryan's painful memory writing, you had me at a-hole was so tight. Honestly, you guys, every time I say this, I am just crying. Others blame the television network for not coming to his assist like this user who tweeted, Surely they could have loosened it a bit for you. However, there was basically just no way around the innuendo as this person tweeted, I'll take things you can't say on Sesame Street for a thousand dollars. Oh, you guys, these are hilarious. But it seems rather than Ryan managing to get his head through the uh, tight a-hole, again, there's no way around this one, fans were and will always be impressed and delighted by the sorcery that is, quote, the speed at which he veers back and forth between filthy and wholesome. Never change, Ryan. Never change. Ah, for more of Ryan Reynolds' hilarious internet antics, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know your thoughts on Ryan's R-rated Sesame Street cameo. You know, I'm just going to call it what it is. His a-hole cameo in the comment section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on Instagram at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.